Capacitors question 4. A circuit is set up as shown. At t equals naught the switch is closed and the potential difference across the resistor plotted on the graph below. And here's the graph. Use the graph to estimate the time constant for this circuit. Well the time constant is the time taken for the charge, or in this case the potential difference, to drop to 1 over E, or roughly a third, of its initial value. Here the potential difference is starting at 9 volts, and so what we need to know is when it will be roughly a third of that, which is 3 volts. If we draw a line across from 3 volts, it gives us a time constant of around 20 seconds. Add a line showing how the potential difference across the capacitor changes over this time. Well in the circuit we have the power supply in series with the capacitor and the resistance. And so the potential difference of the power supply will be shared between the two. It will always add to 9 volts. So initially we will have zero potential difference across the capacitor. After 40 seconds, the potential difference across the resistor is around 1 volt, and so that on the capacitor will be around 8 volts, giving a line something like this. If the initial current is 0.25 milliamps, calculate the value of the resistance R and the capacitance C in the circuit. Well, to find the resistance, we can use resistance is equal to potential difference over current. And putting in the values at the start, not forgetting that this is milliamps, 10 to the minus 3 amps, gives a resistance of 36,000 ohms, or 36 kilo ohms. Next, we know that the time constant, which is often denoted by this symbol, the Greek letter tau, is equal to resistance times capacitance or then capacitance is equal to time constant over resistance. All we need to do is put the numbers in, the time constant we found previously at 20 seconds, the resistance we've just found as 36,000 ohms, giving a capacitance of 5.56 times 10 to the minus 4 farads, or 560 microfarads. 